Hello Vikings and welcome back to the Valheim Guide episode 20. Now in the last episode we defeated Yagbuth and I mentioned in that episode that I wanted to start doing a lot of building in this series now that all of the main combat stuff was done. So today we're actually going to make a start on the storage room. Now I say make a start as you can see behind me here we've already got a lot done but what I'm going to do is show you what I've done already and then we're going to add some things to that and look at some of the decorational buildings as well as some of the functional parts of this storage room area. So first up when we walk inside the doors here uh, you guys will see this little area right here. Now, I really like to have this in my storage room. So the reason that I've got these doors here and this area next to these doors here is because I plan on having a portal hub directly in front of me here as a central area to both my workshop and my storage room, and it should be reasonably central in my planes town as it develops. Now, what I like to do when I'm harvesting resources, be able to come in and quickly dump stuff. So we have a dump chest if I need to put things in there. This here is my weapons, armors, and tools that I use on a regular basis. So if I need to come and get my fishing rod, my harpoon, my knife, you know, all that sort of stuff, that's in here nice and easily. As opposed to, for example, over here, I have all the bolt weapons, armors, and tools that I'm not using right now, but I hope to use one day once the armor stands come into the game. Uh, then I have a double current use chest. These two here are for current use. So if I'm working on a current build project and I need a lot of a resource, then they all go into here. Now, as for these cargo boxes up here, when I did this in my stream, a lot of people were asking me how I managed to get these here. So what I'm going to do is give you guys a quick demonstration for anyone who's not aware how to do this. But basically, if you place down a cart, you then go ahead and place items into the cart. And I used items that I've got a lot of, so bones. And I just place one bone in here and we can do this. And then what we're going to do is select our axe and hammer away at our uh, cart until it breaks. So a couple more hits should break it. There we go. So now we have these cargo boxes. Let's just pick up the stuff here. And we got one cargo box. Now, in order to get more than one from each cart, you'd need to put more than four inventories full of items in. So it's probably quicker to just keep remaking the cart and then hitting it down. Now, don't take the item out. This will need to stay in here forever, which is why I'm using bones, because I don't ever need them. But once it is down like this, you can then push it around a bit and get it into situation. Now, I will say that you can push it around on the floor, but trying to get it elevated is difficult. So what I did was I actually took this wall out, put a little floor in behind, made my cart, smashed it a few times and got these cargo boxes. Then in the stream, we went ahead and got ourselves a load of copper because we're gonna need that for some decorational stuff because I think one really nice thing is on the, let's see on the crafting here, the forge cooler looks great as like a little barrel, right? So if you place that, it needs to be placed near a forge, but then you can delete the forge afterwards so you can put them wherever you want in your world. Um, and I thought that would look really nice up here as like some extra storage thing. I'll, I'll get that sort of sorted out in a minute in terms of the exact location. But even better than that, there's a video and I'm gonna put a link to this video in the description uh, when I come on to this bit i'll, I'll uh, talk more about it but we can actually put stuff in these barrels so uh, kudos to the person that figured that out and we're going to use that so for the storage room itself let's talk about a few things we've got going on so all along this wall here we have our bulk storage so we've got four of these big chests here for rock now if i ever managed to fill those i would be quite surprised and also very happy as i do like to build out a rock particularly in late game but we got through a bit already so that should hopefully be enough then we've got these double iron chests here for each of the different woods with two for the sort of bog standard wood in the game as obviously that's the one that you get the most of. Then I've got here weapons, armors, and tools because you just end up with loads of this stuff that you end up dumping, and that's got two. And then this here is like an overflow area, but I assume that this one here will also be overflow as I doubt I'll ever fill that with just weapons, armors, and tools. Then we have our sort of main uh, storage area. This is all the finer bits of storage here. Now you can go ahead and store all this stuff however you want, but I've got tons of extra chests here. So for example, ancient seeds. I'm never going to fill up a chest with just ancient seeds, but it has its own little spot because I know where they are easily that way, and because I have so much spare storage. Yeah, even with all this being filled, that I don't think I'll ever need all of this. So that's plenty of storage. And this height, by the way, is no accident. This is about as tall as we can get to open the chest comfortably. If it was any higher than that, it'd be really tricky and fiddly to get to it, which is why I went to the height that I did. And then obviously just signposted all of it so we know uh, everything's organized and, and how to get to it all. Now that then leaves this area down here, which right now I've got a temporary portal so I can get to and from here and where I sleep each night. But what I'm going to do is turn this into a bit of a, an aesthetic area and also a bit of a functional area. So what I want to do is have a fully upgraded forge and workbench uh, in these areas here, because although I do have one just over there in my workshop area, if we're ever doing something that requires uh, a lot of things to be made uh, through the workshop and that's sort of, or the workbench, I should say, running to and from there each time is just going to get a little bit tedious. And it does make sense that if we 
we're keeping all of our storage stuff here, we have the ability to craft stuff in this area. So then we have the sort of area here going out the back. You can see that right now it's just a door that leads to nowhere. But what I'm going to do is build a little port around here so we can easily offload things from a boat into a cart and then run that cart straight into the storage nice and quickly and nice and easily. So whenever we're gathering resources that we have to get by boats, so any sort of metals and things like that, then we can do that very quickly. Plus, I think it will look really nice to have a little port here connected up to this storage room. So that's kind of where we're at right now in terms of all the building that I've done so far. Uh, all this building was done on streams pretty much. I did some of it off cam. But if you want to see that, all the streams have been uploaded to my channel. Uh, so the outside decorational stuff is just a lot of uh, dark oak basically that we've got going on here. So the first thing I'd like to do is test out putting that barrel up here. And what I think I want to do is let's just go ahead and maybe make a little ladder here so we can just get up and down easily and uh, move some things around up here. I want to try and just get this side of this box on the right hand side. It's a little bit tricky to move these sometimes afterwards. Can we get that one? Okay, I might have to take out this wall here. Maybe that one there as well. It's a bit of a lot of taking this wall out and moving it around in order to get this build happening. I uh, we'll have to take that one there, that one there out too. Just want to push this a little bit. You've got to be careful when you push it as well. I don't want them to topple over and fall onto the bit below. If I put that there, okay, that might just about do it. Now I need to jump out of here. Because what I want to have is a like box, box, then the forge cooler looks like a barrel, and then another box just to sort of break it up a bit. So what I'm going to do now is grab this forge here. I'm just going to move this over so it's actually in range. And uh, obviously we do need to place the forge cooler near the forge. So it needs to be quite close, actually. Hopefully that'll do. See, 25 fine wood. Do we have that? We do just. So I'm going to have to go on a fine wood mission in a second as well, because uh, I want to place a few of these down today. Then the forge cooler. Okay, just there. Perfect. So let's do that. Let's then uh, place these walls back. So just in here. I need to snap these because they're not perfectly apart as you can see so I need to snap them uh, to the op opposing ends so they sort of overlap like that okay very good now I think that is really nice let's go ahead and just quickly get rid of these two things a second because basically this is the level where we're going to be walking in right this is the eye level and when we're using this area here this is what we see so although I said there is that trick which I'm going to come on to later on in the video we can actually have it where this forge cooler has basically got items overflowing out of it I don't think it makes too much sense to have it up there I think it looks nice to just to have the barrel there as decoration and it just looks like a load of boxes and things have been chucked down inside the door ready to be stored later so that's our first little addition there with the forge cooler uh, I'm going to go and do a bit of a mission now getting a load of fine wood as we're pretty much out of that right now and we're going to need a lot more because I'm going to place down a lot more of these uh, barrels. Well, I'm going to call them barrels from now on. The, the forge cooler is in the workshop. If I place it elsewhere, it's a barrel. And yeah, we're just going to add a lot of decoration to this build as we go through. Okay, so I did manage to get a ton of fine wood, and that should be enough to be going on with, although I'm not entirely sure, because we are going to need a lot of it, because as well as the uh, different things I'm going to be making with the forge coolers, using them for barrels, which is uh, basically for 50 wood, you only get two of those. Uh, the other thing I want to make is some of these things here, the fine wood stacks, because I think having a big area out here that's just stacked up with items would be great. I also want to get some more core wood. I really like the way the core wood looks when it's uh, placed down on the floor, and probably prefer it's the way the normal logs look, but I think we want like a combination of these things basically just all around the outside of this building to make it look a little bit uh, a little bit better i should say then i'm also going to get some like little coal stacks down here as well in places and that sort of thing but right now we don't have a lot of core wood in fact if i go in here i think i've got like 20 maybe there we go 20 bang on so uh, now that's the next thing we've got a load of fine wood now we're going to get a load of core wood so lots of wood cutting today but all in the uh, effort of decorating this place so i think this courtyard area could be looking quite good once we get all these stacks of different things down plus we'll add some more of the uh, the cargo boxes and obviously the forge coolers as well for the uh, barrel effects So I've been thinking about little ways that we could decorate the outside of this. And one idea I had was with the fermenting barrels. Now, if I put them this way around, they have a tap on them and uh, they look quite large as well. Now, it wouldn't necessarily be out of place, particularly if we turn them around, we could hide the tap against the wall just to have some barrels outside here. But then I got to thinking, I wonder if I could dig a hole down here, place the fermenting barrel in the hole, maybe like halfway in, then raise the ground back up and hopefully hide just a bit of it. So that's what I'm going to try right now. I'm going to dig down and uh, I'll give you little updates along the way. And if I figure this out, then I can show you guys how to do this yourself. So let's see whether or not this works. Okay, so I've made a little bit of a hole here. It doesn't seem very deep, but then when I do get the fermenter out like this, you can see that it actually would be sticking about halfway into the ground if this works. So what I need to do now is just quickly get some bronze out of here. I think we need five for this. Now we should have everything we need to actually make one of these. Okay, very good. So let's see if we can make this somewhere. Where does it want to go? There was a little place here we could make it. Okay, so there's literally a very small area where we can put it, and it's basically just here. So let's place that down there, see if that works or not when we start to raise the ground around it so uh, first thing we have to do is just raise like around the edge here like this then kind of flatten it a little bit just like that 
And I actually think that looks pretty cool. Um, it, it looks nice because it's not obviously a fermenter at first because it's at the different height to what a fermenter would normally be. I think you can sort of get away with it. Now, the tap as well, I think, is totally hidden. Yep, from what I can tell, it is completely hidden. Okay, very good. Now, just looking in there, I didn't realize the top of these are actually hollow. It'd be so cool if you could actually stand down in there. You can see the top of this is hollow. Now, what that might mean is that we're actually able to put stuff inside it. And the way we could do that, we probably have to place the stuff down first and then fit the fermenter around it. Now, I don't know if this is going to work, but as part of the uh, building aspect of the series, I think we could try some different things out. So I'm just wondering here, so there's no way of getting that inside, but if I were to place this down on the edge here, like right next to it, if I shift and do it, I can get it somewhere close by. Can I build into this thing a little bit? Okay, it looks like I can. Let me just play around with this a second, see if I can do what I'm trying to do here. Okay, so not entirely sure what I think of this, to be honest. I thought I'd run it by you guys, but what I've done here is put an abomination trophy on a little item stand by placing wood next to the barrel and then building in and then in like getting rid of that wood. I was able to do this and I was hoping it looked like some overflowing like wood that's being stored here and hasn't been taken in yet. It's just sat on top a little bit too much, I think. Like there's a bit of a gap there. It actually kind of looks better from this angle. I wonder if we were to rotate the stand around, would it look better? I'm going to try that. I'm going to rotate the stand around and try this again. And I'm also going to see what it looks like during the day. It's a bit gloomy here right now, but this is the concept. Let's see how this develops. All right, guys. So I've just put some lights down here to actually shed some light over what we're building here because it's uh, waiting for the right time of day it can be a bit long sometimes with Valheim. But I think this looks a lot better now. What I've actually done is move the item stand down lower. And to me, this does look like a barrel that somewhat shoddily, but has been overflowing with wood. I mean, we've got to work with what we get in Valheim, right? So I think decorationally, this passes for uh, something that looks a little bit like that. Then we've got the cargo boxes around here, which I think is looking okay, but it's looking a little bit bare back here. If you cover it from this angle, which we will do sometimes, I mean, most of the time it'll be this angle, which is looking good, but I think from this angle over here, it's a little bare. So, had a little idea for that, which we're going to try out right now. And what we're going to do is get a forge placed down so we can place down our bucket, better known as a forge cooler. See, do I have the materials here? Nope, need a little bit more fine wood, which we can get from in here. So, this is why I went and got so much of all of this stuff. So, we are now uh, prepared for it. Obviously, uh, we got loads of the copper on stream, but a load of this uh, stuff that I got here today is being super helpful too. So this one here, I think we want it just poking its head out from above there. Can we, what am I missing? The workbench. Okay, now I think I can place it. I was like that close. That was where the line was to place that down. So if I just get rid of this a second, I think it's kind of nice. It's only just poking its head up above there. Uh, whether we want to put something in here as well, we could definitely do that. And maybe I'll try that. Yeah, let's do that a second. Okay, so this is how we do what I'm trying to explain here. Let me just go and grab the things that I need. So we've got the nails. Uh, we might need a bit of this in a second. Just grab a little bit of that. Uh, but I will put a link to this video in the description where I got this idea from. Uh, but basically, you see here, if we place this next to the barrel, we can then snap it there. It's a bit too high. But if you hold shift, you can go down a bit. We can get it to like a good level. So I'd say like around about here. We want it to look like it's overflowing, right? Then we're going to get these things here, these item stands, and we're going to place them over a bit. So I want to like get one over like there-ish, as far as that way as we can get it. Can I do this? Okay, so you're going to go try and go just above this thing. Basically, I think if you're in the forge, you can't place it down. I think that's the issue that we're having. So let's go just up here like this. We can place one there, wait, one here. Okay, we need to get some more fine wood. Okay, so I'm back with some fine wood. We place some around here like this. And then what we do is we just place down the uh, raspberries and stuff on top here. Now, that looks a little bit too uniform. I think what I need is like a lot more of these placed down in order to get what's looking like a bunch of them. Okay, so this is how it looks now that it's done. And I have to say, I think it's looking pretty good. I like the fact we have some color here because everything here is quite brown at the moment. So we did a few of these little barrels around with different colors. We could have like blueberries in them as well, maybe some other things. Then it would be uh, quite a nice little thing outside here. It does look like a barrel that's just got like overflowing with a bit of raspberries and stuff. If you come super, super close, you can kind of see the items Stands. But again, you got to work with what you got, right? And <laughs> I think that's looking kind of cool. So pretty happy with that so far. Uh, the next thing I want to do is go get some materials here to make up a cart. And we're going to have a temporary cart outside. Uh, not temporary, sorry. Uh, an aesthetic cart, as I should say. So it's only going to be used... Oh, oh, are these breaking? Aha, uh -huh. okay. It looks like a couple of these might be breaking. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to keep an eye on that and see what happens. I'm just noticing for this one, I actually left this up because you can't see behind here, right? So that is holding up the item stand. So for these here, I wonder if that might be the issue. We might have to like, uh, if I grab the little build piece here, go around the back here and have this like placed down in order to hold it. I'm going to go ahead and place that down 
see what happens to these. But it doesn't look too out of the way anyway, having that stuff there. Okay, so I'm going to place the temporary cart down just here. I think this is a nice little spot for it. And now I want to fill it up with some cargo. So what I'm going to do is put in some stuff that I don't use a lot of. So we've got the bones here and we've got the uh, raspberries. Now to save on space or save on items, I should say, I'm going to keep splitting these until I just get one of each and place them in different areas around this barrel. And if we do that, eventually we'll get the look that I'm looking for here. You see we've got the extra boxes now. We've also got like a little round barrel in there as well as the normal boxes. So so by doing this, we can create a nice full cart effect. Let me go get some more stuff and then I'll finish this off. Okay, so that's now every slot of this cart filled up, which means that it fills up in the uh, graphic here. So you can see there, all the boxes and one little barrel there. So again, just a little aesthetical thing to put there and uh, we've used the minimum amount of resources to do this. So if you wanted to do that, just chucking stuff like this that you don't mind uh, wasting on this. And uh, so that's, yeah, okay, it's not bad. It's starting to take shape, I think, right? It's, it's looking okay. Uh, I think what we might need is some sort of outside lighting for this area. These torches here were temporary just while I'm making this uh, build here today. I think we might need a bit of that going on i'm also thinking there's a bit of room here where we could have something going on we've done the boxes we've done the barrels and now i'm just wondering what else we could maybe put here so i think what i'll do is play around with a few different things and see what looks good okay so what i did is place down a bit of uh, fine wood stacks here now unfortunately these will weather but we should have to fix them over time if we think they're not looking great and what i want to do now is look at the lighting options so i'm going to use these torches but i'm going to do it in a bit of a different way so i'm going to have some actual ground torches i'll show you what i mean so i think one back here would be nice it sort of illuminates this area quite nicely but what we're going to want to do is get let's see this one here probably is the right height yeah so if we place that about there then we can go ahead and snap this on next to it and we can get a, a bit of a torch going you see here how that's sticking out the pole now if i want to get this perfect i'm going to need to move it just a little bit closer a bit more central it's a little bit fiddly to do this so let me just play around this until i get it right okay that is looking pretty good actually so if i now go ahead and get rid of that pick up the pieces jump out the way and come back and there we go so now we have these little torches here that just look a little bit different to the ordinary so i think a few of those dotted around might add to this of an evening and there we go i think having a few of these around here looks really nice uh, i think it looks like it's it sort of belongs here with the little uh, lighting up of this outdoor area and i'm quite liking the whole aesthetic the way this has developed is is looking pretty good in my opinion so reasonably happy with the front of this storage room as it stands and now i'm going to go inside and we're going to look to do a bit more decoration but also add a bit of functionality to this thing and this is where we want to get the workbench and the forge set up in here and also light up this area of the building that currently is just dark and empty so let me get some ideas down and then i'll give you updates along the way well guys i have been working more on this little area here and this is where we're currently at uh, as you can see i've got a workbench here and a forge but they're not quite fully upgraded just yet uh, you can see the forge here at level four the workbench is also level four uh, so that'll be useful for some things but we're going to need to get a lot of iron together before we can do the upgrades because the next upgrades that we're going to need for these things are going to be things like the forge tool rack and the tool shelf and also the anvil there's a lot of iron needed for that and i'm currently totally out of iron however i did have a little idea here now this right here we just got the temporary portal here right now as i said before this will go out to a docking area for our boat and when we come in here i think at that point once i've built that docking area i'll look to decorate this corner at that point because i don't know if this is going to change as for this this is pretty much how it's going to be i do have an idea of what i want to go along this back wall here but again i'm going to need more iron for that um so i will cover that in a future episode uh, at some point or a stream or something but yeah it's gonna be a little bit bare just for today unfortunately however what i thought we could do is just add in a few finishing touches here so i think around the uh, workbench areas we can have some little coal stacks and what i like is they kind of integrate here so we can have them on the floor here so i think we could have one there maybe one over this side somewhere as well maybe sticking out a little bit and then i also want to get uh, some stone stacks and maybe put a couple of those around the place as well let's grab a couple of these out just to add a bit of uh, decoration something a little bit different let's grab these uh, stones here put them kind of kind of there actually and actually do you know what that would look great wouldn't it if you had this outside you could have this all along as like a little wall uh, potentially or even just as like the little boundary for these things particularly if you were to dig down you could actually place it so that it'd be like only this top bit here sticking out something i might try out in the future actually um but so we got that one there and do i want any more of these maybe Maybe like a few more so it's not entirely symmetrical this build 
Hmm, let's see if there's a good spot for these. Okay, so I think just about here, maybe as close as we can get. There we go. And that way, we've got the coal either end, but this isn't completely symmetrical with the stone just in the middle. It's a bit more on this side. So when we go up to work on these uh, areas, we've got a bit of decoration here. So, and then obviously I've lit with the sconces as well, which you guys can see. But yeah, that's how it's looking right now. And uh, I have to say, pretty happy with the storage room at this stage. Obviously, like I say, there's still bits and pieces that need to be sorted, uh, but I will be doing that in the future. Time now for a few finishing touches. And I'm going to grab out as much of this as I can for a second. And we're going to go and make some stacks of this. Now, I did consider using the normal log, but honestly, if you look at that and then you compare it to that, to me, this is just a lot nicer. I think the texture is a lot nicer, and I'd rather use this. So, even though you know it would have been sort of beneficial to us to use the other one, I think this will work well. So, what I was thinking is maybe we could have that one there, then this one here, if we hold it, and we can go back that way a little bit, and then on top here as well. Can we get one up on top? Oh, we can just about if I place it up like that and like that. Okay, let's see how that's looking. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no, I do. I kind of like that. I think, again, just a bit of wood there piled up in the corner. Uh, just looks like, you know, if, you, if you're doing some work around here, you might have these materials at hand, right? Again, just using what we can within the game. But I can see that being a thing. You'd have, like, your materials near the workbench. That makes sense to me. And looks kind of cool. So yeah, finishing touches for this bit, and I think that's it, about done. So guys, quite a different episode today, and I'd really like to know what you guys think about this. Are you enjoying this style of episode, doing a lot of building? I will be doing a lot of building still in this series, whether I do it on live streams or in videos, but any feedback from you guys is greatly appreciated as to whether or not you've enjoyed seeing this sort of building process. I know we didn't build today's building from scratch, but that'd probably be a hugely long episode. So I think a combination of the streams and then the uh, or like what I've been doing today, the videos as well, maybe for more of the decorating stuff could be good but yeah i'd really like to get your guys feedback and obviously any suggestions you have for future build ideas or even changing this one around would also be appreciated just realizing as well there's a little area here we might want to decorate in the future as well again the dock will all be down this way so we might figure that out in the future but yeah i'd love to know your feedback guys um, but as always i just want to say the dad jokes are of course coming but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time during what historical age were chests invented the store age what sport are chests really good at Boxing. What's the storage room's favorite type of nut? A chestnut. Why couldn't the box become qualified to store items? Because he failed the chest. It's not about how a chest looks, it's what's inside that matters. What did the box say when it was overflowing with items? I'm doing my chest.